The Hellboy franchise is back with a fresh start in Hellboy The Crooked Man, promising a deep dive into the horror elements of the Hellboy universe. With a new lead, a spine-tingling plot set in the 1950s rural Appalachia, and the involvement of Hellboy creator Mike Mignola, there's a lot to unpack. So what can we expect from this reboot, and will it breathe new life into the demon spawn turned monster hunter story? Let's delve into the shadows and uncover what lies in this intriguing revival of Hellboy. The journey of our main character, created by the talented Mike Mignola for the Dark Horse comics, has been quite eventful in the world of movies. It's been both successful and a bit tricky at times, but hey, turning this demon turned monster hunter into a movie star totally makes sense. After all, he is as famous as the big shots from Marvel and DC Comics. And the best part, there are tons of cool stories and characters to explore in his world. Mignola's comics have this awesome mix of action, humour and spookiness, so making films from them is a no-brainer. In 2004, Hellboy made his big screen debut in a movie simply titled Hellboy. It was directed by the monster movie maestro Guillermo del Toro and starred Ron Perlman, who had worked with del Toro before. Perlman played the role of the big red monster hunter with a heart of gold. The film was a visual treat thanks to del Toro's knack for practical effects and Perlman's charisma brought the lovable character to life. While Hellboy didn't set the box office on fire, it quickly became a favourite among fans. Positive reception paved the way for Del Toro and Perlman to team up again for a sequel called Hellboy 2 with the Golden Army in 2008. Some would even argue that this follow-up was as good, if not better, than the 2004 film. In Hellboy 2, you could see all the elements that made the original movie work, and then some. There was deeper world-building, a more menacing villain, and an overall stronger plot, making it a memorable addition to the Hellboy saga. After the success of Hellboy 2, fans were hopeful for a sequel, but Guillermo del Toro's busy schedule and his desire to focus on other projects put those plans on hold. Even though Ron Perlman expressed his willingness to reprise his role, a new Hellboy movie didn't materialise. It seemed like the franchise might remain in limbo. However, Lionsgate eventually decided it was time for a Hellboy reboot, and in 2019, they brought us a fresh take on the character. David Harbour stepped into the shoes of the titular character, and the movie even had an R rating, which was intriguing. But unfortunately, Hellboy 2019 didn't quite capture the magic of the earlier films. It received a lukewarm response from both critics and audiences, and its box office numbers didn't inspire much confidence for the franchise's future. Interestingly, it appears that the Hellboy universe might be due for a revival. Either filmmaker Brian Taylor, known for Crank, who's set to redirect a new installment titled Hellboy The Crooked Man. This time, the focus is on doubling down on the horror elements, promising a fresh and chilling take on Hellboy's world that we haven't seen on the big screen before. Could this be the miracle that breathes new life into the franchise? It's an exciting prospect for Hellboy fans eager for a darker and more terrifying adventure. In Hellboy The Crooked Man, the story takes us on a journey with Hellboy and a rookie BPRD agent. They find themselves stranded in the rural Appalachia of the 1950s. As they explore this seemingly quiet region, they stumble upon a small community that's plagued by the presence of witches. These witches are under the leadership of a sinister figure known as the Crooked Man. Following the film's announcement, director Brian Taylor shared some exciting insights about the production, emphasising his commitment to staying true to the original Hellboy comic of the same name. This dedication makes sense, especially considering that the comic is regarded as one of the standout entries in Mike Mignola's series. What sets the Crooked Man apart is its distinct setting, a period piece set in the late 1950s, primarily taking place in the eerie and desolate woods of the Appalachian Mountains. In this chilling environment, Hellboy stumbles upon an injured woman who has fallen victim to some dark witchcraft or curse. As the story unfolds, the mystery only deepens with the arrival of Tom Farrell, a local drifter who claims to possess knowledge about the source of this malevolent magic. Together, Hellboy and Tom Farrell embark on a harrowing journey to uncover the true threats lurking in the Appalachian region, and it goes by the name of the Crooked Man. This enigmatic figure is a former tax collector who narrowly escaped the hangman's news, only to become a collector of souls in the service of the devil. What follows is one of Hellboy's most unsettling and spine-tangling adventures, filled with horrifying imagery and a web of expected twists and turns. Fans of the Hellboy franchise can anticipate a dark and captivating tale that delves deep into the realms of horror and mystery in this intriguing cinematic adaptation. 
Mike Mignola, the creator of Hellboy, had a conversation with Variety about the script for the film, and he shared some intriguing insights. He emphasized the idea of keeping the Hellboy movie small for years, and he found the perfect story for that approach in his personal favorite, The Crooked Man. According to Mignola, it's one of the best things he's ever written, and it features beautiful illustrations by Richard Corbin. What makes The Crooked Man a great fit is its simplicity. Crawling stories with numerous characters, this tale is more focused and doesn't involve a multitude of characters. Right from the start, everyone involved in the project agreed that this was the story they wanted to tell. Budget-wise, it was a practical choice, because it doesn't require the grand scale of Hellboy saving the world. Instead, it's a subtle, dark and somewhat eerie folk horror story, promising a unique and more intimate experience within the Hellboy universe. As of March 2nd, 2023, we have some exciting casting news for Hellboy The Crooked Man. The iconic role of Hellboy will be portrayed by Jack Casey, who brings a solid background in the action genre, having appeared in films like 12 Strong, Deadpool 2, and Without Remorse. Millennium Media co-founder Jonathan Younger expressed his confidence in Casey's abilities, praising him as a dynamic actor who can transform into his roles seamlessly. Casey's talent and presence make him a suitable choice for this younger incarnation of Hellboy. Their previous collaboration on The Outpost left a positive impression on Younger. Joining Casey in the cast are Jefferson White, who will be playing the role of Tom Farrell, and Adeline Rudolph, set to portray Bobby Joe Song. With these announcements, the film's lead trio is complete, promising an exciting and dynamic ensemble for what appears to be a highly anticipated movie in the making. As of now, Hellboy The Crooked Man is still in its early stages of production, so there is no trailer available for eager fans. It will take some time before Brian Taylor and Millennium Media have something to showcase to the public form of a trailer. Principal photography for the film began in April 2023 and concluded in May of the same year. Interestingly, while the comic on which the film is based primarily unfolds in the Appalachian Mountains of North America, much of the production took place in Bulgaria. This choice of location may add a unique atmosphere of the movie. Regarding the release format, whether Hellboy the Crooked Man will hit theatres or be available for streaming has not been explicitly confirmed at this time. While it's a reasonable assumption that the film will follow the precedent of its predecessors with a theatrical release, it's worth noting that streaming options are also a possibility, especially given the franchise's history of varying box office performance. This marks the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and share it. Let us know your opinions in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.